Brought to you in part by Mananoc Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene. That's <laughs> awesome. That was just for the two of you. <laughs> I don't get applause like that. Hey, everybody. Welcome to A Culinary Journey. I'm Luca Paris. That's Allie. That's Chase with a cool shirt. Give it up for Chase's cool shirt. Give it up. All right, so we're here to cook, right? You're from Nobles and Greeno in the Boston area. Yeah. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm getting all the answers correct. <laughs> and you came to visit Keen, and we'll talk about that when we get our show started. But we came, you came to visit, and you ended up on a cooking show. You never thought that would happen in your life. But it did. We're going to do a chicken dish with Statler breast chicken that you can get local, and then vegetables and fruits that you can find local with some prosciutto, which we'll talk about that in a second, and a really cool, it's a whole meal put together. Real easy, we're going to do roasted potatoes, we're going to do them on the stove, and we're going to take carrots and parsnips, and we're going to make them look like pasta. That's going to okay. be your job. Your job's the potatoes, my job's the chicken, and with that, Nobles and Greeno in the house, and your culinary journey starts now. a round of applause. Man, you don't get all the cheesy humor in this show, do you? <laughs> all right, we're back. We're visiting Keene, New Hampshire, right? Yep. Well, you guys are visiting. I'm here. <laughs> and what are some of the places you went to? Uh, yesterday we went to Orchard Hill Breadworks. Mm -hmm. You got to see how to make bread? Oh, yeah. And it was delicious bread, too. And their old oven <laughs> where they, they have to heat it up and then it stays yeah. hot forever? It's not an old oven anymore. It's pretty new. Just go with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. It? And we're and, and today you went to Stonewall Farm? Yeah, we did some weeding through some crops. Nice. That sounds like fun. They got free labor out of you guys. Nice. And what's out what's on the agenda for the rest of the week, do you know? Um, we're going to Walpole Creamery today and watching the process of making ice cream, which would be awesome. And you might be tasting? Maybe. And I was not invited? <laughs> that's crazy. So Walpole Creamery, you've got a lot of great places. That's what yeah. it is, just yeah. kind of getting into that local area and finding local ingredients. There's certain times of the year that you could do almost all your shopping locally in this area, which is a lot of fun. And you, you almost can eat everything that way. I do a dinner at the restaurant where we do 100% local dinner. That means I do not use one ingredient that includes like pepper and lemons, things that you can't find anywhere in New England. Uh, like uh, not fresh peppers, but like black pepper. I won't use any of that in the cooking, and everything is within 100 miles of my restaurant. It's really cool. So you should try it at home sometime. No, okay. <laughs> so should we move on? Do you, either of you cook at home at all? Yeah, I do a fair amount. Yeah? What do you do? Uh, a lot of chicken dishes nice. and pasta, a lot of desserts. Nice. <laughs> Did you bring me one? No, not today. Mm, no, it's typical. <laughs> they come to a cooking show and don't bring a gift. <laughs> what about you? You do any cooking at home? Um, I do a lot of baking. Nice. Like cupcakes. Cupcakes? <laughs> mm, no, none for me, huh? No. Mm, okay. You know what? Maybe we won't cook today. <laughs> no, let's, let's do this. We're going to make a chicken dish. It's actually kind of a, a, a balance on, or a play on a chicken saltimbocca, which is an Italian chicken. Do you ever hear of it? No. No, I just made it up. Uh, chicken saltimbocca with sage and prosciutto. And we're going to be using a statler breast chicken with the skin on so it gets nice and crispy. And then we're going to do potatoes, but we're not going to roast the potatoes in the oven. We're going to do rosemary and lemon and the potatoes and all these great flavors. We're going to do it in a pan. And we're going to slice them thin so they kind of get like a fried potato feel. And you're going to do the parsnips and the carrots. And we're going to, we're going to cut them or peel them just like they would be doing, uh, like we would do a pasta. So it'll look like a little pasta ribbons, all right? So this is what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna get my, my uh, pan on, and why don't you guys do what I've asked you to do, which one was 
peel the peel the parsnips and carrots, and you're going to cut me some potato rounds. Yep. You could do that now. Okay. Get, no, not now. No, now. <laughs> Go ahead. No. Get started on that. And then I'm going to get started some of my mise en place for the rest of our dish. Uh, so basically with the, with the parsnips, what Allie's doing on the far end, she's taking the parsnips, and she's just peeling them off, uh, peeling the first layer off. And then after that, push a little bit harder, Allie. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there you go. And just peel right down. And then she's going to peel the first layer off. And then the second and, and third layers are going to be our pasta ribbons. And what Chase is doing over here, he's cutting us some potatoes, but nice and thin, using a serrated knife, which is pretty cool. And we'll get that started. And then while they're doing that, I'm just going to cut up some mushrooms. And a cool way to cut up mushrooms, if you get a chance to check this out, is first of all, take the, the bottom R, and that's what Chase is kind of doing with the potato. All right, Chase, I told you to yep. kind of cut a little wedge off, because you know mushrooms and potatoes are round, right? So if you try to cut it, it's going to go everywhere. If you just cut one little part off, it's going to stay still. And then with my knife, I could just go right down, and then I could fold it, and then go down again. And voila, I'm get, I get to cut it really nice and easy. Now, when you get too close to the edge where you're going to take your fingers off, please stop. I could use, we've got plenty of potatoes in the house. We could do it there. You practice cutting at your own house. Yeah, all right? All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do that. I got my pan in the back here heating up. I'm actually going to get all my pans nice and hot. Uh, the, the pan with the potatoes is going to take the longest time. So we need about a couple of potatoes from you, about maybe 12 of them, all right? And then, great job on those parsnips, They're like the little spaghetti, Thank you know, you. right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Make sure you get me some carrots, too, at the same time. And I'm going to get uh, first my chicken started. Now, this is a chicken breast. What I did with it was really cool. I'm going to show you something real cool, guys, right here. Is that I took the chicken, right? And underneath the skin, I stuffed it with fresh herbs from my garden. And then I marinated in some olive oil and all that fun stuff. And then all I really need to do is get it into the pan and let that skin start searing. Mm. Ooh, it's going to be so good. All right, and we'll do that with the other one. And that's the chicken breast, and that little bone in there, that's the wing bone, and it's just for, for show. I could, I'll, I'll pick it up and, you know, <laughs> there we go. Were you told you had to laugh at all my bad jokes? No. No, oh, okay. They should have told you that. <laughs> so, so I'll, I got the mushrooms working. We're going to do a mushroom sauce with the chicken, too, uh, along with the prosciutto and the sage. Those are really great flavors in there. All right, so how are we doing? You got potatoes going, perfect. Yeah. Now your potatoes, those are important to get those on soon. So we're gonna put olive oil on the bottom of this pan here. And Chase, what I need you to get me is the rosemary also. Okay. And then I'll take this and this Ariosto blend and salt and pepper, and then we'll get our potatoes in. And we'll kind of get them really heating up in this pan. So we might have to get a couple, maybe another pan full. We'll probably do. But you'll see how good they are. It's almost like frying the potatoes, but not. And then we're going to season them with this, this ariosa. And now the rosemary, dude, look at this. I'm just going to pop it off and throw it in heavy. So you can you know, just get it in there. Because that, that rosemary is actually going to fry in that oil. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. And then we're going to add in there, too, some lemon later on. Yeah. Potatoes and lemon go really well. All right? Good? Yeah. All right. So let's get those in there. We'll hit that in a little bit. What I'm going to need from you is to cut this lemon in half if you can. Okay. All right. Everybody pay attention. Let's hear it for cutting of the lemon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So, so do you guys, now you say you cook. Do you cook full meals at home sometimes? Oh, yeah. Too? My parents sometimes pay me to cater their dinner parties and stuff. So. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. They say, here's $500 cater my dinner party. <laughs> Not that much. Like Did you know that definitely. caterers in your area could get five to six hundred dollars? I'll have to use that on the next time. Ne negotiating tool. <laughs> and then, especially if you've been on this show, you get a, a special <laughs> fee. Yeah, you know, celebrity chef and all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we we seared off one side with our chicken breast. It gets nice and crispy. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start playing with that a little bit more. We're gonna kind of flip it back and forth. We'll turn down the heat a little bit. We're just kind of going all over the place. We got our potatoes cooking. Ali is hard at work on our spaghetti there. I, you know what? They're coming out perfect, by the way. Thank you. That's a great way. Take your time when you first started cooking, especially when you first start. Take your time. Don't just jump into it and think you're going to be like one of those guys on TV or these ladies on TV. 
It's just like boom, 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 in, 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 I'm done, right? Because they have yeah. 20 other people behind them cooking all their food for them. Here we don't. We're making it ourselves. So we got our two ch chicken cook, cooking, got our mushrooms, we got Chase's potatoes going, Allie's getting on that. When we come back, we'll kind of put some more stuff together, do a little cleanup, and uh, we'll have a good time. So don't go away. We'll be right back. You want to dance for me? <laughs> no? No dancing. Not a great All right. Dancing. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, we were on a show. Chase is going to rap for us. Go ahead, Chase. Uh, no, I can't rap. <laughs> well, here we are back on a culinary journey. We're doing this great chicken dish that's getting a little smoky in here. So we're, we're actually searing our chicken on both sides, getting it really plump. We've marinated that in extra virgin olive oil with some herbs. And then I seared one side. I'm going to flip it over again. Sear that side again because I want that skin to get nice and crispy. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what I'm, and then check out this. These, these potatoes are coming out wonderful. Look at that. These are chase potatoes right there. All right? All right, so I got that going on. This is the next step we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of lemon to the potatoes because lemon, potatoes, rosemary are absolutely wonderful. And where, as I do that, I walk away. Yeah, <laughs> I do that. We're going to be using this lemon later on in this dish too. So here what I need to do is I need you guys, well, I, I just had you do this, Chase. Tear okay. this up with your hands, kind of okay. rip them apart. And then I'm going to chop up some prosciutto into our, pot, into our sauce here. Now the chicken is cooking all the way through in the sauce. It's really, well, the sauce that we're going to make. But I'm adding some prosciutto or some extra fat or saltiness to the dish. I'm going to fry that into the dish right there, okay? And then we're going to also fry in some shallots. So what kind of cupcakes do you usually make? Peanut butter. Peanut butter, that's my favorite. <laughs> Me too. And you didn't bring it. <laughs> All right. Oh, too bad. There's a there's a really good cupcake shop in town too. You should go check out before oh, you leave really? too. All right. We got my shallots in there. I got my um, prosciutto in there. Now we're gonna put some mushrooms. And this is the this is the part that Chase asked me for. Ready, Ali? This is the part that Chase asked me for. Ready? Ready for this? You guys ready? <laughs> Hope you're ready for this one. I gotta turn that up just a little bit. This is for you. All right? Okay. You put. Some alcohol in there. And if we did it right, that deserves a round of applause, don't you think? <laughs> oh, the stuff I get excited about too. I feel the same way. I did it for me, really. So don't get me wrong. Everything's better with a little bit of fire. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna put some lemon juice in here because you know what? The thing about lemon juice, I don't just put it in because it's cool to squeeze lemons over stuff. It, I, and it goes great on you when you kind of get it on the nick of your finger, right? Oh, yeah. It, it actually adds, it helps things taste better. Now, lemon, lemon, when it first hits you, it's like almost like a welcome mat for all the other flavors. It kind of open up your taste buds, and then everything else follows, and things taste sweeter, things taste sharper. Uh, all these other flavors kind of combine and do really well, and that's why you use lemon or any type of acid in food, so that's what we're doing there. I'm going to season it with this little secret blend of seasoning I have. Here you go. Makes all the girls swoon, I tell you. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll try it. It's like a... <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> what are we doing with your stuff? We're making a pasta. Oh, nice. Good. Good thing. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> all right, we're going to let this part cook down. And we're, what do you think we're going to add to this to make a really yummy sauce? Butter. What do you think? <laughs> exactly. That whole thing of butter, just like you were thinking. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> all right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to start your pasta part right there. This is, these are our fresh herbs. Now, fresh herbs, when you use fresh herbs in the kitchen, right, the one thing you want to do is remember is using herbs, when you use dry herbs, you do them early on in the dish because they have to rehydrate. Fresh herbs, you do them at the end of the dish because they're strong and potent. If you start them too early, you lose all that flavor, right? So that's how you play with them, and that's why we're using this as a fresh herb. And tearing them right at that last second before, instead of doing, like, picking them or whatever, when you tear them that last second, when you throw them in, all those essential oils go right in there and just pop. And that's the flavor we're going to get, that sage flavor. So this is the last thing on our dish. What we're going to do with these, we'll start these cooking by putting a little oil in the pan and turning it on. And then we have that lemon kind of straight throughout, right? So I'm just going to kind of leave it in there and let the lemon cook in there also. And then what we're going to do, it's pasta that you actually don't have to blanch. You know how like... A lot of people will take carrots or really big root vegetables. You have to cook them a long time to get any, to have them cooked down. Well, by doing this, 
into our oil, these are going to cook in no time. So we're going to take, what we're going to do is take a quick break. We're going to throw some garlic in here too. We're going to let those cook down for maybe a minute or two, right, until they get nice and soft, which will be no time. And we'll have this big chunky garlic in there too, kind of a little bit undercooked, so you have this bite to it, right, kind of balancing off of the sweet marsala that we have here that the alcohol's burning off and all that. And then we have our potatoes, which are just about done. But it took no time, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. These are all items you look at and go, oh, I got to roast a whole chicken, or I got to cook some carrots and parsnips, or I got to roast potatoes. These are hours. We're going to do one all in about 20 minutes. That's how cool it is. So don't go away. We'll come back. We add butter to this, butter to that, and we let Chase do whatever he wants to our fried potatoes, and we'll have a great time, and maybe we'll get him to do a song or a dance. Okay, we'll be back soon. <laughs> don't go away. There he is. Woo! 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 Oh, I was a little behind on that one. Sorry. All right, so we're, we're working hard at getting our whole dish together, right? So our chicken is basically done. It's going to be nice and moist on the outside, crispy on the inside. Look at that. We have mushrooms. We have shallots. We have prosciutto on the outside. And all this stuff down at the bottom. So check out the bottom of this pan. You see those little black spots right there? Yeah. It's called the fond or foundation of any sauce. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to get the pan up. I, I kind of shut it off, and now I'm going to put it on again. And then I want to finish this off in like a, a buttery sauce. So I'm going to take just a little bit of butter. Take, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just scared everybody's parents just now. <laughs> um, take some butter. Now the butter is, is okay, is it, is it the healthiest thing you're going to do? Probably not. But you know what? All, everything in moderation. It's all about balance, right? You guys know mm -hmm. that. It's like riding a bike. When you're, when you're eating, it's all about riding a bike. It's not about cutting things out of your diet. It's about balancing what you put in your diet. So there's, all, there's oils and fats. There's olive oil fats and most of everything else we do. We want to create a silky smooth sauce. We, we add some butter to this. And I just I turn it on enough to get the pan nice and hot. But what you're going to find out is all I have to do is turn it off now at this point and then just kind of let it plate together. So I'm going to first put down our potatoes. Look how nice those look, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> I thought so. Got Better some. than any potato chip. See? <laughs> now we're talking. Actually, if you ever wanted to fry potato chips, a lot like what you did, but cut them even thinner, get yourself some olive oil or, or, or safflower oil, which is really good to work with, and then you, you fry them off and then take them out, let them dry off a little bit with a little salt and pepper, and put rosemary and herbs on it. It'll be the best potato chip you'll ever have. So you can't go wrong with that. These could get a little crispier if you want them. Then we're going to take our noodles here which were really easy to prepare. You see how they cook down already? Oh, yeah. yeah. And they have the lemon on them and everything like that. They just kind of just fold together. They're great, too. Let, let's say you have someone who's, who's got an allergy to uh, wheat, or dare, uh, wheat, basically, like gluten-free. You have to eat gluten-free. You do that with zucchini and squash. Same thing, and you put your favorite tomato sauce on top. You'd think of you were eating pasta. It's a flavored pasta. All these people have to flavor pastas. We don't. We just flavor our, We have the vegetables. And you put your chicken over the top. What am I missing? Am I missing anything? Come on, there's one ingredient I'm missing. Uh, the sage. The sage. Throw it in there, big guy. Now that sage is going to give us another kind of flavor profile last minute. It's kind of the essential oils are going to open up right there. And look at that sauce. Look at how that just came out into a nice sauce. That butter is just kind of melting in with the prosciutto and the olive oil. Oh, man, I'm excited. <laughs> I, I'm really, I, I'm hungry right now. So let's get a spoon somewhere. So tell me a little bit more about your school. You do these travels a lot? Um, not a ton, but no? they're always really fun. Yeah, especially coming here. Right? Of course. Yeah. Actually, we rehearsed that. He was supposed to say that first. <laughs> All right, well, look at that sauce. Look at that. Oh, uh -huh. I don't think your friends are going to get any. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. But it's really, it's healthy for you. It's a really quick dish. It's something quick, but it looks like you can almost get it at a restaurant and, and it'd be just that good. I hope you enjoyed today. Come on, try it out. Give it a shot. Tell me what Thanks. you think. And you know you signed that waiver that said that everything has to be good, right? <laughs> yeah, let's try it out. You're having a tough time over there. Let me help you out with that knife. <laughs> this is why we didn't let you use a knife in the first segment. Try it out. It should be crispy. It should be yummy. It should be, yeah? Here yeah. Why do I feel like I'm on an episode of Chopped right now? <laughs> and they're going to go, oh, I don't like this. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did all right? Mm -hmm. All right, now will you dance for me? You won't even dance for your food, huh? <laughs> you are Elmo shirt on my show, the first time ever. Over 150 shows we've done. You're the first Elmo shirt. You got to keep it young. I, I see that. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I had a great time. I hope you guys had a good time. Enjoy your, enjoy your visit to Keene. Check it out. Find all that local stuff. Come back. Eat at my restaurant. Spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I hope you had a good time. It was fun to have you on. Thank you. Thanks for being on. Nice to meet you. Are we going to share this with anybody? No. This is it just for us? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, this is just for us, and I guess we'll see you next time on A Culinary Journey. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, guys. by Mananak Florian Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene.